Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Lunch Table Podcast with Dylan and Akram. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We are reviewing Air, directed by Ben Affleck for today's episode. So Akram, give me your thoughts on the movie. Yeah, it was. I actually thought going in that this movie wasn't going to be that good. This movie was actually really good. It's a shame that there wasn't much marketing for it, but I think it's a really... It's... It's a retelling of of the famous sneaker, of course, as you know, but it added a lot more to that because it's not about the end point. It's more about the pursuit. And that was so fun. It kind of reminds me of our other review, Tetris, where we talked about like Mm -hmm. the pursuit of making the game. So it was really great. And I think the ensemble cast is wonderful. It's so cool to see Ben Affleck and Matt Damon together again. Uh, Really strong movie, in my opinion, maybe Oscar worthy. Let's get your thoughts. Oh, yeah, I thought it was great, to be honest. And it's funny because we, yeah, we did review Tetris. So it's kind of like a similar tone to that. Um, this movie actually made me think of if ever anybody ever remembers that uh, movie with Brad Pitt, Moneyball. Yes. Um, it kind of reminded me of that. It's like taking a chance on this very risky idea. I mean, I'm not like a huge sports or like sneakerhead. Some people, you know, that are into that kind of culture will probably appreciate this uh, movie more. But I thought it was, you know, awesome kind of seeing like this this uh idea right and it's really Mm -hmm. the idea of branding um Mm -hmm. turning something you know ordinary into something extraordinary so it's like matt damon says in the movie it's like a shoe is just a shoe until you step into it right and i like in the beginning it's kind of like they're they were picking you know who were going to be like their top sellers like or, or who they were trying to sponsor their their shoe to but um Matt Damon plays uh, Sonny Vaccaro and he kind of uh, revolutionary revolutionizes the idea. It's like, well, let's not let's not have the uh, player sell the shoe. Let's have the shoe sell the player. Right. Um, and seeing like Michael Jordan, I know there's like a huge ton of Michael Jordan fans out there. Um, one of the, like the best NBA athletes of all time. Um, I was a Bulls fan for a while, too. So it was cool seeing like that kind of like origin story. And yeah, as you said, like the ensemble cast really uh, sold this movie for me. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, um, Jason Bateman, Chris Tucker was so funny in this movie. Yeah. And Viola Davis, like she even, you know, as mm. as Mrs. Jordan, she kind of, you know, was the soul of this movie. Um, and even, you know, Chris Messina was in this movie. I haven't even seen him in, since like probably like Mindy Project. <laughs> mm. um, so it's so funny to have him in here. But yeah, overall, oh, great, great cast. Yeah, and Chris Tucker, man, he he always comes out of the out of his cave, I guess, because we don't <laughs> see him. He always is like in these great movies. I think he was also in Silver Linings Playbook. Correct me. Yeah, I think, I think he, he was, was yeah. in that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He just keeps coming out for like these awesome and well directed movies. Again, I think it could be Oscar worthy um, in the future. We will see. Um, we also get uh, the character Peter Moore, played by Matthew Marr. Uh, we're reviewing Hello Tomorrow, so AKA great to see Lester, Lester back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it was a really... I mean, again, oh, we also have Marlon Wayans. That's awesome as well. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. um, what do you think about their depiction of events in this movie? Did it feel really authentic? Do you feel like it was respectful to the actual history? I mean, I can't speak on, like, accuracies. Like, we talked in Tetris. Mm-hmm. Like, things were kind of, like, loyal to the actual story. Um, so, I don't know, like... You know, if there's any like history or like sports buffs, probably correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought it was uh, probably a faithful adaptation. But I, I, like I like that they it wasn't so much about, you know, <clears throat> the, the events themselves It was kind of like, like I said, like this idea of taking some somebody iconic and turning that into. I don't know, just a, a revolutionary product, right? It's like sneakers, as we think of it now, are so big and it's a huge market um back then it probably still was but not as big as now right it's like now when we look at a sneaker we automatically identify and associate that with somebody like like an athlete or like a celebrity now so it's kind of like these products have become like an embodiment of like status now and i think that was in due part thanks you know to like this the idea of this movie and you know the events that took place and so many sports players now i know are just making like tons of of millions of dollars and they actually went into that too it's like they uh were talking about like how the players should get back 
uh, from their brand, not just the the company like Nike or Converse or um, Adidas, right? Um, so Mrs. Jordan, played by Viola Davis, she actually advocates that uh, Michael should get revenue from you know the 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 distribution of the Jordans, and it was cool to see like that's kind of like what started this whole trend now where celebrities are like kind of getting these kind of like deals now. Um, I thought it was just so great and just seeing like the the origin of the Jordan, um, just like the design of it, I thought it was so cool. It's like it's kind of like like, like when we saw like the Game Boy and and Tetris. Mm. Um, just seeing it for, like the first time, I know like it's such an iconic sneaker and it's like what everybody goes to. Um, and yeah, and even like they they showed like the uh, the inclusion of like the Jumpman logo at the end. It was yeah. towards the end, but I thought it was cool that they uh, included that. But I wonder if actually like Tinker Hatfield, if everybody doesn't know, he uh, is one of the shoe designers for nike currently um i wonder if he had any like input in this movie um because he is actually like pretty famous too um, uh well yeah. also guys let us know in the comments because we're both not sure about this but there they didn't really show michael jordan as much in this movie i was i was kind of shocked to see that we didn't get to really see his face as much uh let us know in the comments if you guys found in for any information if michael jordan had a problem with this movie or something like that it was really interesting to see that the man who made the shoe very popular because the shoe is popular because of who wears it right um it's not really like a crucial part of this it's really about the making of it um, let us know if there's like any controversy or something like that in the mm. comments below. Yeah, yeah, that was a little strange. I mean, yeah, I wonder if like the family had like um, you know issues with with uh, depicting him on screen. Yeah, because um, he, I mean, he was there, but it's like they never showed his face. He like turned away a lot of times, and then his it was basically like the parents were speaking for him. He spoke like a few lines here and there, but it kind of felt like mm, not authentic. Um, and you know what's crazy too? This like the the beginning seems so expensive. The whole movie must be so expensive. It must be such a huge battle with just trying to get the rights for things. I could only imagine mm-hmm. with getting the rights for Michael Jordan stuff or Nike or whatever. It must have been super expensive. But I, I feel like it's a well crafted film. And again, Ben Ben Affleck he is he is a great director. I remember he won. Uh, it wasn't a Best Picture for Argo. I believe long time ago and he directed mm-hmm. that. Um, he's a wonderful director. Um, yeah. What else other thoughts do you have on this movie? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Ben Affleck, he knows how to make char- characters likable and very charismatic. And I think these yeah. characters very like, even though they're kind of like these, you know, boring businessmen in real life. I mean, Matt Damon even said in the, in the movie, he was like, uh, people will probably uh, remember Michael Jordan, but they won't remember us. Mm. Um, but I think the 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 actors just made these these characters so likable and so sympathetic. Like Jason Bateman, he was like, "I need this deal to go through, otherwise, like I'll never see my daughter again, um, because I'll lose my job." Even Ben Affleck himself, you know, as the CEO, he he was just like so funny and so charming at at moments. And yeah, Chris yeah. Tucker, like he 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 stole the show from me. And he's he's yeah, great. he's getting into these like very mature roles now. He's um, great. He's, he's very selective. Yeah, you know? yeah. But he still kind of has like that humor, and it it just works so mm-hmm. well in this movie. Um, yeah, overall, awesome movie. I think all the the dialogue was great. All the kind of like, you know, historical, you know, they even showed like, like some clips of like Michael Jordan's like career highlights and like some of his mm. old like uh, uh, footage tapes. I thought that was cool. And, and it felt yeah. like very like a very like 80s centric movie too. Like we saw like, um, yeah, like not just the the shoe brands too, but like we saw like different, you know, brands uh, like things that they sold back then. It was kind of cool seeing that. It was very nostalgic. Absolutely. I, again, it's a well-crafted movie. I think you guys should definitely check this movie out. Again, it's it's kind of a shame that it wasn't so marketed as much as other movies. Um, so I got a feeling that the box office numbers wouldn't be that great, but hopefully they could make a profit from this because I think it deserves it. But everybody, mm-hmm. that is our review. Uh, before we actually get to the nitty gritty dylan what would you rate this movie by the way uh gets nine out of ten for me and it gets nine out of ten for me guys listen if you're new to the channel please remember to like it'll greatly help us out uh we're trying to branch out and do different things in the future so stick with us a lot of exciting stuff coming your way this month is hella busy we are kind of like the nike team at the moment just trying to (laughs) gather (laughs) gather everything yeah Yeah. so guys your help will definitely help us out but dylan please take us away yeah guys check us out wherever you listen to your podcast platforms on apple Podcasts, spotify anchor youtube wherever you listen to us check out our socials on instagram as well 
check out all our updates i gave an uh, update recently on what's happening with e3 and akram gave one for marvel's avengers so check out our videos on youtube as well but yeah thank you guys so much and until then thanks for having lunch with us just do it guys see ya just do what subscribe <laughs> <laughs>